Hey guys, I'm Bianca. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making a DIY tray. You can use this tray anywhere you like. You can use it on your dining table, console table, coffee table, in your restroom if you'd like. This tray is pretty much universal and you can use it anywhere you like. So that's what's really cool about it. And of course, it is very cheap. I had mostly everything already. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I will show you the items that you need to use. So what you're gonna need to make this tray is three picture frames. Got these from the Dollar Tree, a dollar each. Now I'm just using this type of picture frame. I don't know the size of it because it just has the five by seven and then these two smaller ones. But if you want a big one, you can use the eight by 10 or if you want a smaller one, you can use a smaller one. So it's really up to you. Of course, I'm going to be painting it with my chalk paint and my painting brush. And then this is also from the Dollar Tree. I think they even have a marble one or like a wood type of paper. Um, so that's what we're going to be using to just to give it a pretty background. And of course, to be gluing everything together, we need the E6000 so it can be very sturdy. And then I will be using my hot glue gun as well so it can stay put together right now as we do it. Okay guys, so I'm just putting a, a towel underneath my kitchen dining table because I don't want to mess it up. So I just got an old towel and then I'm gonna be um, taking this off and then take the glass out. Also, with the chalk paint, you I got this tip from one of my YouTube subscribers, she said to dilute the chalk paint with water and just so it can last you longer. And I thought that was a good idea. So thank you, Tammy Ganey, for that. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be pouring this in here and diluting it. And then let's go ahead and get started with the painting. Also remember that you can paint it whatever color you want. So if you like a different type of painting, or you want it to be a different color, more springy color, more, or if you want to leave it black, you can also do that as well. But I just would like to paint it this white color because it's just becoming one of my favorite colors. So I'm just gonna start off by removing everything from the frame and then painting the frame. Before I do that, I need to remove these. And just remember when you remove them, pull them outward because if you pull up, then it will tear the frame because remember, it is from Dollar Tree. So it's very flimsy and it's kind of like a cardboard type um, material, it feels like. So I just did one coat and then I'm going to turn it around and do one coat on the other side as well once it dries. Um, just because I do like the distressed look like I always tell you guys. So one coat is good enough for me. So while your frames are drying, what we're going to go ahead and do is take your glass and put that to the side. We are going to use two out of the three. We're going to put them together, we're going to glue them together, and then we're going to put that pretty paper on it, and that will be the background. The reason we are gluing them together is because, remember, this is very flimsy, so if we put two together then it's just, it'll be more sturdy that way. So I'm just gonna apply the E6000 glue first, and that's of course for it to be sturdy, and then it'll dry very, very well within 24 hours. 
and then I'm using my hot glue gun right now just so it will stay in place you know because hot glue dries like really fast so I will put that together and then apply the paper on top now now I'm just gonna apply the paper on and you're gonna do it slowly that way you won't have any air bubbles and if you do have air bubbles you can just kind of lift it up and it will come up pretty easily and just kind of smooth it out really well So now I'm just gonna turn it around and fold it and you don't have to worry about how this side looks because nobody is gonna see this side. So just fold it and then um, we will put it in the picture frame. Out of the three picture frames, take the one that I left the prongs on and we're gonna apply the E6000 glue and my hot glue. Remember to put the E6000 first on every step that you do because this doesn't dry fast. It takes at least a day to dry. And then put the hot glue because that dries like literally within like five to 10 seconds. So that's why I put it after. Now apply your glass and just push the prongs down and then we can layer the two more picture frames. So now once that is in there, we're going to glue the other two frames together on top of each other. So repeat the same steps like I told you with applying the E6000 first and then the hot glue on top of that and hurry up and put the frame on top before the hot glue dries. So I have that one on there and now I'm going to do the same step and apply more glue to put the last and final third frame. I forgot to mention when you're stacking your frames after applying the glue make sure you wipe and clean off the sides because glue will most likely you know come out from the side so you just want to wipe that away that is it guys that is pretty much the final step and once you are done you can put it wherever you like in your house and just apply any decor pieces that you like so yeah i will see you guys in the next video bye